Okay folks, we're going to be making HESCO barriers and the products you will need is high density foam which is this stuff here I've gone in to cut it into <coughs> lengths by 30 centimeters by 60 centimeters. It comes in a giant sheet. Um, I will link a description of all the products done where you can get them roughly from Amazon. But most of this stuff you can get from a craft store or a DIY outlet or whatever. So high intensity foam. We will cut these into shapes. You will need some tape for drywall. This stuff has got like this mesh which mimics the mesh around the Hesco barriers. On the other side, it's sticky, so it will stick straight to the high-density foam. You will need some pre-made filler or filler that you can mix up. Some PVA glue or wood glue, works the same. Some sand. And for something a little bit more coarse, stones or gravel or whatever you have on hand so your first step will be cutting the hesco barriers in, into roughly shapes these are designed for 35 scale dioramas and stuff so here we have a 35 scale soldier so say he's roughly six foot say for instance hesco bears come in various sizes i will show you several pictures or several barriers and several um, scales okay <clears throat> we're gonna make some of the smaller ones and they're roughly waist height on a human so go and buy a reference on our little soldier here waist height roughly is about three centimeters is some of the smaller hesco barriers they are some that are really Lily uh, taller than a, than a human, so they're looking at like say six centimeters, which are really large ones, and there's some really tiny ones. But we're going to do just the average size waist height barriers for now, so it'd be six, uh, be, it'd be three centimeters square roughly. So I'm going to need to mark out. Three centimeters square. Three. Or three. So you got your three centimeters square, we cut this out now. You're going to want to make another one. So, the easiest way of doing it is marking it up and just drawing around it. So there you go guys, it gives us our two squares, you're going to want to sandwich these together, you want to cut these really really neatly. Um, so if you look, it's roughly waist height, almost there. 
might consider doing one more So now we have three stacks, we're going to glue these into place. We'll let that set for several minutes. Next step, also you want to use some um, masking tape. So I'm going to use just standard Tamir masking tape. You want to mask around the edge. Flatten down the tape so this now mimics the um, material that is inside the HESCO barrier. Your next step will to be used this uh, drywall tape which has the squares on it which mimics the, the actual cage. Again this has got an adhesive side to it. Cut this to one side. You want to wrap this round as tightly and neatly as possible. And then you want to trim the edges off. Make sure you get a nice bond. So 
So here we'll look something like this. If you're having issues with it sticking, you could probably always use some watered down PVA to get a better bond. This is only rough, just to show you quickly how things are done. You want to also, your next step is get some of your pre mixture. You want to stick on top of the HESCO barrier, which is where it gets filled in with sand. This, this stuff is pre-made and it's pre-mixed. I'd like to get some on my finger. And then you want to slap this on top to make it uneven. Nice liberal coat. And why it's still tacky, you want to go ahead and stick it in your sand. A couple of stones maybe, not too many, give it a slight different texture. So there you go guys, there's your sand on top of your HESCO barrier. Just to check everything still looks right, it's roughly the right height and the right size. We're going to let this cure for a minute and then it's a quick paint job. Okay folks, now I've let this set, um, we're ready for paint. This HESCO barrier may look a bit rough but like I say, when you come to do yours, you're going to take your time and make it a little bit more better. This is only quickly, just to show you how to make them roughly. Like I say, mention, take your time and it will come out a lot better. The colours I'm going to be using is, from Tamiya, is the dark yellow FX60. And then over the top, we're going to go with a, a light coat of buff FX57. So, mix up some of your dark yellow. don't have to do them in desert colours, they come in several colours, green, brown, blue, um, we're going to be doing the military ones, so they'll be in the desert colours, so we're just going to spray this on. go over the top slightly to make the sound a different shade so there you go guys there's your base color dark yellow we let this dry and we go over with the buff 
Okay, folks, going ahead and finished off the, the uh, second color, which was the buff. And that's pretty much how the barrier is going to be. You want to make a several several of these to make up your uh, your wall. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, and then the, your soldier is ready to stand up. Up against it. So there you go, guys. It's quick and simple. Hesco barrier. Like I mentioned, you can make them in taller ones, which will probably be about this big by the same. Um, if you're going to make this several more of these, you can stack them on top of one another. But if you're going to stack them, I'd rather recommend you build the barrier first before putting the sand in then put sand in at the end um so there you go guys so there you go guys like comment subscribe and i'll catch you later